I started Symphony Entertainment LLC and Game Face Records LLC in the early 2000s. During this time, I produced and managed 10 different artists, all while promoting my own solo career. In 2010, I moved to Atlanta, and since then I have worked with dozens of artists as a photographer, videographer, and graphic designer. Music has always been an integral part of my whole life. Welcome to Air Reviews. What up, world? Welcome back to Air Reviews, man. You know what time it is, man. We about to check out the new project from the one and only Snow Patrol. This project is entitled The Force is the Path. Uh, I never heard of this band. Um, this is my first time listening. You know, I like to just give new bands a chance. You feel me? I'm always looking for just something new, something fresh, something dope to add to my playlist. So I stumbled across Snow Patrol and I was like, okay, let me, you know what I'm saying, give them a chance. So I did my Googles to see who they were and I uh, found out they were uh, Irish, Scottish rock band formed in 1994. Damn. So they've been doing this for like 30 years? Crucial. And um, this is their eighth studio album, you feel me? Uh, I like the cover art, and um, I'm really excited to see uh, what the hype is about. But before that, you already know I gotta tell y'all about our newest sponsor, Making It For Indies. Making It For Indies is the number one platform connecting indie talent and industry tastemakers. DM them the word brand for help getting real exposure, pay shows, and features. They've been doing this since 2007, you know what I'm saying? That's almost two decades, so you, you know they gotta figure it out. How they though, making it for indies. So yeah, we about to check out The Forest is the Path by Snow Patrol. We're going to listen to all the songs and rate it at the end. Let's start out with track one. Track one is entitled All. Let's check it out. I like the vibe so far. Smooth, you know what I'm saying? Relaxing. I don't know where I am. I'm not quite broken everything I've learned. Like this. So right now I'm wondering if they're gonna go real big with the hook. You know how a lot of rock bands do. It's all quiet, and then that hook come and the speaker blow your eardrum up. Let's keep going. I think that hook was decent, you know what I'm saying? Could have been a little bit better. But I like the verses, you know what I'm saying? I like the tone of his verse. And I'm wondering like if this was inspired by somebody like real. And if so, who was? Who inspired this these lyrics? So He said, all I want to do is hold you, but I'm not brave enough to let you know, man. You got to let them know. You got to let them know. You only live once. I'm not mad at that song. Let's keep going. Track two is entitled The Beginning. Love, if you're near, don't tell it like it is, because I don't know how to hear. Okay, I mean, I like the instrumentation, but honestly, I'm feeling like the lead singer. He's straight, but he's not as strong as like the lead singer I've heard in other bands that I, I really love. But he's decent, but I wonder if he can just, if, if there's another vocal range that he has. You feel me? I guess we'll see. Let's keep going. Track three is entitled Everything is Here and Nothing. I hear the beat that you hear secret code that you hear me. I'm tired of being in. Do the vocals sound like it's over the beat instead of mixed in with the beat? I don't know if y'all can hear it. You know what I'm saying? Through the speaker. But um, y'all listening to it, let me know on this one. Let's keep going, though. Complete and join the dots. Okay, 
yeah, I wasn't feeling that one. It was mainly on that one, the uh, delivery. You feel me? I just feel like he should have said those lyrics, especially on the verses, with a little more emphasis, a little more passion. You know what I'm saying? If, that, if I was in the studio and the engineer, when he's doing that part, I was like, I think it would have sounded better with more passion behind those lyrics. But, but let's keep going. Track four is entitled Your Heart Home. Okay, I'm liking the vibe so far. Maybe this is going to be the first standout cut on this project. Just hold me I don't know how I felt about that that transition right there because a lot of things is about song arrangement you feel me I don't know about that one but let's keep going I feel like, um, you know, I got to keep it real. I feel like that production would have been better suited for uh, an artist that's a little bit more capable, you feel me? I feel like he didn't capitalize. The, the beat and production was cool, but I feel like the vocals added to it, which is kind of lackluster in my opinion. But let's keep going. Track five, this is the sound of your voice. But it seems like the perfect thing to say before you go Did the doctor doubt it, it wouldn't It's climbed off the cab Okay, that flow pattern was kind of sus. The way he was riding the beat it was kind of sus, but now he, he's getting in a pocket, you feel me? Hopefully he stayed there. Let's go. It's more than any other city could have What's missing but something is missing I don't know if it's the passion I don't know if it's the heart I don't know if it's like flawless execution of song arrangement I just reviewed Paris Hilton's uh, album last week and go look at listen to like the song arrangement and where the vocals are placed the beat builds um, and yeah they did a way better job than this you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is and what 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 is missing in this, but it's not it's not pulling me in. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep going. Track six, hold me in the fire. feeling the lead singer man at all and I mean I will admit that I can be biased I've been doing this for five years um, I've heard some great great stuff I review 80 albums a year so yeah I am hard to impress but I know it's something on here for me you feel me it's got to be something on here for me I'm gonna keep looking track seven years that fall <laughs> y'all try to do that math i said i do 80 album reviews a year but also review uh 700 videos on this channel i think because i also do singles and also do movies and tv shows and a lot of other stuff but 80 albums a year you know what i'm saying so <laughs> see i told y'all there was gonna be something on here for me See, they added that reverb to his vo voice. Now it sounds a little bit more interesting. You feel me? Let's see where it go with it. Alright, here we are. This is the zone, y'all. You should have started off with this zone. You feel me? You need to get it. Stay on this, this zone. This aura. This mood. You feel me? Okay, 
okay, yeah, I'm rocking with that years that fall. And even though I wish it was an actual hook instead of that, whatever that was, I still rock with that song for sure. Track eight is entitled Never Really Tire. Fuck your horizon. Let's keep going. Eating time again. Terrified to leave him. It sounds like the vocals are on top of the beat for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what, what that is. Everyone. The landscape is collapsing. It's the thing that you hold about. And they've been doing this long enough that I know this wasn't a mistake. I think this was done purposely. I think he's trying to provide some type of intimacy by pushing the beat back and he wants you to really listen to his lyric and concentrate on his voice so let me try to really zone in on the lyrics Take out your soul Show it to me now Alright, where are you going with this? You talking about take out, take out your soul, show it to me now Like, where are we going? The lions to the deer what is he saying? You never really son of a man. I can't tell what he's saying. He's saying, what are you here for? I'm trying to get the exact messaging of this song. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he talking about? What is he talking? What emotion is he speaking to? Fuck all your ego. I guess he said never really tire of it. So that's what he's saying. F all your ego. Yeah, I'm really trying to decipher the song, you feel? I really want to know what he's saying. Breathe until it hurts. Take your soul out and show it to me now. Tear me to pieces. Like, what is what is going on? Kill all your heroes. Now there's nowhere left to hide. Man, that song is six minutes long. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, that song's taking too long to get to the point. I try. Y'all see me trying. I'm trying to find something. You feel me here at love. Let's keep going. Track nine, These Lies. I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. Bro, you ain't got no more, like, happy emotions. Like, there's a lot of sadness in, in, these, in these songs. I didn't dig for you Till my heart would cease In the dust somehow So when I say I never felt the guard Yeah, whatever mood you gotta be in to listen to that song, I'm not in that mood And that song is five minutes Come on, Snow Patrol, man You're Trying to put me to sleep, man, come on Bring that heat Track 10 what if nothing breaks? For the words to come But they never fill the silence Sees us shatter into tears He says She says Well, just stop trying to make this right but like the sky painted on ocean Yo, the vibes is... Man, I don't know if I'm supposed to be like in a dark room with a, a, a fucking razor blade to my wrist while I listen to this Or I'm supposed to be like um, holding an umbrella like walking in the rain on a dark and cloudy night I don't know what's going on right now Let's keep going, track 11, talking about hope Let's up the vibes, man, let's up the vibes, man, I'm hyped Not catching the vibe, man. The last track, the force is the path. Final track, let's check it out.
Okay, that's it. That's the final track. Let's make some noise for Snow Patrol. The course is the path. And yeah. The way I'm looking at it is, uh, it's not for me, but it's, it don't really matter. My opinion don't matter because they already have a fan base. Um, everything ain't for everybody. This one is not for me. You feel me? Um, I only liked one song out of 12, and that's Years That Fall. And um, I've just heard better bands. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I still rock with uh, Kings of Leon. I still rock with um, Hollywood Undead. Uh, I still rock with uh, One Republic, um, Glass Animals. Um, I can't even think of them all off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, I just uh, don't think this one's for me. But um, I'm curious what the fans think. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think about this project? What would you rate it and why? What would you rate it and why? What you would rate it and why? Me on my scale, um, it's a 1 to 5 scale, 2.5 being an average album. I'm going to give this album a 2. You feel me? I don't know if I'm going to even try to listen to it again, you feel me? Because uh, I really didn't get hardly nothing that first listen. But I don't know. Maybe in the comments y'all can say something to inspire me to listen to it with a different ear. You feel me? But I just feel like I got to be in a certain space of maybe heartbreak or loneliness or suicide or something. Something that I'm just not in. I'm never in. I'm turned up. You know what I'm saying? My life is fantastic. So I don't really rock with like low vibrational things at all. You know what I'm saying? It got to be, you know what I'm saying? I just prefer, you know what I'm saying? Some hype energy, you know what I'm saying? Joy, happiness, you know what I'm saying? Explosions, feelings, you feel me? Like high emotions, jumping out the window, jumping out the window of an airplane, you know what I'm saying? Skyrocketing to the moon type. That's what I'm on like right now, always, every day I wake up. So yeah, this didn't pull me in. But that's just how I feel about it. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments and you already know till next time, I'm out. Yeah.